Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a 7-inch Android tablet. Uh, a couple of you have been asking me on how to set up devices, so um, this will be a generic one for 7-inch tablets, and hopefully it'll help you guys out. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. So first we're just going to start off uh, with the country. Now, um, it might vary slightly on different devices, but this it should be uh, almost the same uh, for every device. So we're going to go start, and then we're going to find our Wi-Fi connection. So I'm going to select my adapter, and then I'm going to enter it in, of course, off screen for one second. So you just enter in your password. You always want to set up an Android device where there is internet. So that's the number one rule when you're setting up an Android device, uh, set it up somewhere where you have internet. Uh, just because that way it'll actually um, allow itself to um, import everything you have from other Android devices in the past. Alright, and then we're going to connect. And now it's finding the IP address and now connected. Now we're going to sign in to our Gmail account. So for those of you who don't know, my email is of course ask the Android guy. And then you can just tab over to the next one uh, because it will automatically input the Gmail portion. So it'll automatically input that. And then we go to the next part where we input the password. Of course, I'll do this again off the screen. Alright, and then what we're going to do is, of course, um, keep me up to date with news offers. Uh, this is up to you. Um, I have already done this plenty of times, so I don't need to click it anymore. Uh, but if you want uh, Google to send you uh, emails when things are on sale, such as either um, app sales, game sales, book sales, music sales, they have different kind of sales um, at least once a month. So if you want to um, keep in the know, then just click that. And then it's going to say it'll take a few minutes to, um, you know, just ref uh, get all of your information and see what you have available to sync. All right, so right here, it will ask you um, if you want to set up a credit card. Of course, for the Ask the Android guy, I haven't set up a credit card. I've done that with my personal account, but not the Ask the Android guy one. So I'm going to click Not Now. Now, if you do not set up a credit card, obviously you cannot pay for any of the paid for apps in the store. However, um, you can get a Google Play gift card, uh, which I have done a video on before, uh, that will show you step by step of how to use a Google Play gift card instead of a credit card. And uh, basically that'll be allow you to buy apps, books, movies, music, anything on the Google Play Store. Um, as well as, um, so it's just a alternative to, uh, I believe it's 10, 20, 15, 25, and 50 dollar increments. So if you ever want to um, use Google Play Store without a credit card, that would be the way to do it. I'm just gonna click not now to skip this. And then it will ask you again if you want to back up and restore all of your contacts, your account, everything uh, to keep this tablet synced, as well as to keep it, if you ever wanted to get another tablet, um, everything will be backed up from here for the next tablet. So I would always recommend doing both of those and then it will restore. As it's letting you know, it can take up to five minutes uh, to restore it. And then uh, once it's done with that, it will ask you if you want Google to use locations to, you know, help for several different things. Uh, search results. So if you search for a, um, you know, sushi restaurant, it will be able to uh, use Google search to find a sushi restaurant near you. Um, it will also do it um, to help other services. So if you have, um, you know, Facebook, it'll allow you to check in through Facebook because you're allowing the GPS to be used. So, um, or sorry, for the Wi-Fi connection to be used um, when, when GPS isn't available. If you have any, uh, you know, concerns about this, I wouldn't personally. I mean, Google has been found that definitely to never kind of uh, give out information. They've even tried several times to have the government be able to only um, access things via warrant. 
So it's it's pretty safe. I mean, it's up to you though. I mean, everyone has security features of their own. Uh, I do not mind personally, but um, these that is what these um, things are allowing you to do. So just letting you know. And then of course the date and time. You pick your area. I am in Pacific time, and then it will uh, of course show the date and time for you. And then you can just have your name go up, and there you go. And there you are. Now, um, this is an Acer tablet. If you're on an Asus tablet, Samsung tablet, or um, uh, even stock Google tablet, or well, not stock Google tablet, but any other tablets, they might have you go through a second registration with them. So this second registration is up to you if you want to use, you know, Acer specific services or Samsung specific services or Asus specific services, then you would go through this process. If not, uh, you can skip it, uh, but that is up to you. All right, guys, so that is the basic idea on how to set up a seven inch tablet. I will go through more in depth uh, part two, uh, which will show you how to set up the screens um, and um, further anything that uh, you guys have questions about. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, The Android Guy.